So right now, I'm gonna show you guys how to clip while lead climbing. The first clip off the ground, you wanna be really careful, uh, making sure that obviously if you miss this clip, there's nothing else to protect you. So this is your first piece of safety. And for this clip here, the gate is facing to the left, and I'm gonna be clipping with my left hand. Right now, I'm in a very balanced and stable position, which is a great spot to be in for making your clip. So at this point, I'm gonna grab the rope with my left hand, lining it up with my middle finger and index finger, grabbing the spine of the carabiner with my thumb, I'm gonna push the rope through, just like so, making sure that the rope is running from the wall, through the carabiner, and out to me as the climber. So, as I progress higher up the wall, I'm approaching the second clip. At this point, I wanna make sure that the same rule applies that I'm in a balanced, stable position making this clip. Also, I'm gonna pull the rope starting from my knot and extending out. Once again, the clip with my left hand, now the gate is facing in a different direction. It's facing me. So rather than using the technique we just did, I'm gonna actually use my middle finger to stabilize the carabiner and I'm gonna then use my thumb to push that rope through the gate. Another important point to remember is when to make the clip. Right now, the clip is lined up pretty much with my torso. This is a great time to make that clip. Even though I can still reach this clip from where I am, be really cautious about pulling too much rope out because at this point, if I were to miss that clip, all that rope is gonna drastically increase the distance that I'm gonna fall. So before I make that, I'm gonna move a little bit higher. Now, with the clip closer in line with my torso, I can make that clip. At this point, to demonstrate how to clip with the right hand, with the gate facing me, this is an example where I would use my middle finger to stabilize the carabiner using my thumb to push that rope through the gate. Once again, making sure the rope is running from the wall through the carabiner back to me as the climber. And once I get to the top of the wall here, there's gonna be two carabiners as well. And I wanna make sure that I take my rope, clipping both of those carabiners, and I've just completed an indoor sport climb. So that was how to lead and how to make clips. Oh,